Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Alyssa here from Ask a Pro Singer. And I just wanted to come on today, excuse the mess back there. I am getting ready to go on another trip tomorrow. Uh, but I just wanted to come on here really, really quickly and talk to you guys a little bit about slow seasons. Uh, and what do I mean by slow seasons? Uh, I mean just any time that uh, work is just not abundant, it's just not popping, right? Uh, maybe you're out auditioning and nothing's happening or you know there are no auditions you know and maybe you just finished a show you just closed a show or you just did a gig that paid really well and now you're trying to move on to the next thing but there's just nothing out there <clears throat> Well, I'll tell you, um, I've dealt with that plenty of times uh, here in LA, or in LA, I'm in Vegas now, but in LA, um, when I was there, <clears throat> excuse me, when I was there, about a couple months after I graduated, uh, I learned what kind of the peak seasons were as far as how, uh, what was auditioning and when. And I know it varies from um, what you're trying to do. So it really depends on kind of like what, you're doing if you're an actor I know like my best friend I talk about her a lot she's an actor and she's doing um, commercial stuff and she wants to do TV and film and uh, things like that and so it's really important that she knows when is what they call like pilot season or what uh, times of year that there's a lot of work and then what times of year that there just isn't a lot. And so I have personally dealt with a lot of times where I, um, I finish a show or I'm just looking for work and things are just slow, like nothing is happening. And um, I have had to learn kind of the hard way um, how to be patient and how to deal with times like that. And um, before I I came to you know where I am now and sort of accepting the fact that you know nothing blooms all year right you got to give yourself time to um, grow and give yourself time to fluctuate and let things go up and down and uh, it's important not to get down on yourself and think you know oh my god I'm I'm this I'm that I'm not good enough I'm not getting anything blah 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 it's just a, a slow season and just remember that something will come something will show up and something will be the right gig the right job for you at the right time so I will say like there are a few things that help me get through uh, periods like this um, the first thing that I'll say a really really good tip that I um, have learned is to work on yourself it sounds so cliche and I know it probably sounds like a broken record like people say this all the time uh, you know self-improvement but it's so true work on yourself like the time that we have uh, as performers that is like our downtime like a lot of people you know side note a lot of people like to kind of discredit you know me and my my the work that I do because they don't see me having to wake up I don't wake up early in the morning and go to a job you know I <laughs> I have several days or several weeks off of work and then when I go to work you know I work every single day and I work at night or something like that but what they don't realize is that there's a lot of time even just literal hours in the day that I dedicate to my craft so the times that I'm not waking up and going to a job but you know I'm saving all of that for the job that I do that those are the times and especially during slow times to work on yourself so whatever that means writing your you know writing music working on scenes working on monologues working on you know going taking class if you're a dancer just keeping everything within your craft sharp keeping it on point making sure you know of like the latest terms the latest everything you know and that will help you because what do they always say if you stay ready you don't have to get ready so when that job does come and that right job that right gig does come your way you will be ready and you'll be ready to, you'll be ready to take it on you won't feel like oh my gosh I gotta brush up oh I need a little bit of time to you know improve my skills before I do the job no you will be ready to go you'll be ready to get thrown right in there and you'll be ready you know to ready to fight so uh, the second thing I really like to do is just remember that not everything is going to happen in our timing now it just sounds very sounds very metaphysical because it's like hard to say oh you know 
I know when things are going to happen, but we have to remember that things don't always happen in our time. Um, sometimes even the jobs that we think are the right jobs for us are not the right jobs for us. <laughs> I have had to learn that so many times the hard way, like things that I just think, you know, I should be doing and gigs that I should have gotten or shows I should have gotten, you know, cast in and I didn't and that and that was for a reason. Okay, and that just goes back to maybe I needed to work on myself. Maybe there was something that I needed to improve, you know, um, maybe there was something that that's kind of the universe's way of telling me, well, you're not ready for that. So go back to the drawing board, go fix whatever you need to fix or not fix, but go improve on yourself. Take the time to put energy and effort into your craft and into yourself. Come back stronger. Boom, you get it next time. I can't tell you how many times that I've auditioned for a job and haven't been ready. And then the next year left, got, you know, sharpened my skills, came back and got the job. So that's just something really to remember. Um, another thing, what was I gonna say? Oh, another thing that's really, really important about um, to do and to remember during slow seasons is to save your money. Now, I'm terrible at this. I'm terrible. I'm, I'm uh, the pot calling the kettle black because I don't like saving money. Like if I have it, I wanna spend it. I love to shop, I love to online shop. It does not matter what it is. I could be at Office Depot and be looking at office supplies and wanting to buy them. Like I wanna buy everything. I just love to shop. Uh, I love things, I love nice things. So <laughs> I have a really hard time with this one, but I am getting to the point now where I am really learning how to budget my money, how to save my money, and how to kind of, what do they say? Um, put something away for winter. So when I do have a slow season, I have a savings or I have somewhere that I can, you know, get money from if I'm not working. Now this is super important, obviously, because, you know, we all need money, but if things are slow and a lot of times it's very, very hard, you know, people say, well, just go get a job in between. Well, it's hard to go, you know, do all that to get a job that's you know not flexible uh, and then have to quit that job and like they don't really pay that much anyway so I would rather just budget my money you know throughout the times that I am making money um, so that when there is some kind of a slow season I can always have a little bit of something to take care of myself now I'm not saying that I use that little bit of money to go shopping no I'm just saying that um, it's really important to put something away so that you know if you are not working and things kind of come down to the wire and you know your big expenses your rent your food you know if you just need you know money for gas and like things like that while you're not working it's really really convenient and important of course to have you know some money in the bank saved a little bit so um that about does it for this video very very quick um i wanted to just come on here and kind of talk to you guys a little bit about that because that is a very it's tough you know uh when you're not working when you're not booking anything or when things are just slow it can be very i don't know like at first it's first it's a no first it's a challenge right and then it's annoying and then it gets really discouraging and you start thinking like damn like well what am I doing like I'm so frustrated and you know and I've been there right you know waking up every single day with anxiety like waiting for an email opening my inbox like is someone is that going to be you know a job answering every time my phone rings and it's a like a number that I don't recognize I'm like oh that could be a job you know and so it gets to the point where you know there are seasons and times throughout the year that you're not going to have a job every weekend or you're not going to have you know a gig to go to um right now and that's kind of i mean that's the beauty of our job right of you know what we do as performers is like we don't have a regular schedule but we do need to know how to prepare ourselves and take care of ourselves mentally, financially, and emotionally, you know, telling yourself that you are enough. <laughs> well, even though things are slow, um, it's important to take care of ourselves um, when times happen like that, because we can't just, you know, drive to our job. Things are, you know, a little bit different for us as performers. So I hope this gave you guys a little bit of insight. Uh, once again, if you have any 
suggestions or anything that I may have left out, uh, please uh, leave it in the comments if you'd like. Make sure you like this video if you liked it and go ahead and leave a comment, subscribe. I've got a whole lot of really great videos and topics coming your way, but if you'd like for me to talk about something specific, I love to hear from you. So please uh, just send me an email. So I will see you guys next video. Bye!